Hey, good morning, everyone. Today's video could perhaps be my last Halloween video until I see Halloween ends on Pink Cock, uh, which I will review with spoilers um, on the, the day that I'm able to watch it. I will also see Halloween ends at the theater perhaps uh, about a week from today, as in next Monday, you know, and... I'll review my movie experience there with spoilers as well, you know, to let you know whether you should see it at the theater, you know, if it'll be quite the experience, you know. This is what I'm planning, in case any of you all were a little curious. Anyway, uh, numerous people have pointed out to me before that Michael was in the room all along at the end of Halloween Kills. And that's how he was able to kill Karen. I mentioned several, and I mean several times that Michael is not visible in any scene of Karen walking into the room uh, from her point of view, right? You don't see Michael standing in the corners, you don't see him sitting by the bed, and you don't know if he's under the bed, which he could be obviously, but it's not really his M.O., you know? Uh, however, when you look closer as Karen is walking towards the window as after she has passed the bed, uh, you can see a mysterious outline, which appears to be dark, and it's hard to distinguish what it is, but it appears to be Michael uh, sitting and leaned up against the bed. What is startling is there's no way to know if the ending was edited and shot so poorly that we're just supposed to believe Karen is oblivious and doesn't see Michael sitting there, or, or Michael really does have supernatural abilities, and he directly used one of them after Karen walked by the bed to look out the window. I side with the option that Michael can teleport. I've released a video where I listed, I believe, six times where Michael could have possibly te teleported, whether in the original or in 2018 and kills. In the original, Michael is drawn to that window as he sees the light go off in there, and a startling music cue occurs, right? Almost signifying something sinister is about to happen, which it does. Michael goes up and kills his sister. But as he's doing that, um, as he's stabbing his sister, we're looking at Michael's point of view, and it goes from stabbing Judith to him looking over at his window. He's drawn to it, you know? So, I'm on the record saying Michael has been possessed since Halloween Day 1963 when he was six. It may sound whack or crazy, but Michael's house could be haunted, and the evil spirit that returned home on Halloween 1963 possessed Michael and forced him to kill his sister. This evil spirit has taken away Michael's will and it also has prevented Michael from ever talking since. It's starting to make me think Michael died in the fire from the burns and smoke inhalation at the end of 2018, uh, which he would not have been able to survive. It makes sense that, you know, it, Michael then tanks a firefighter hose that would have knocked him on his back like it was nothing because of his supernatural abilities it also explains how michael just tanks act after act of violence against him and kills it almost would explain how michael gets up after the mob beats him down and after karen stabs him another point i wanted to make involves something a viewer in one of my recent videos pointed out, which was Michael's wounds do not bleed much. Uh, this is quite true if you think about it. Um, Allison stabbed Michael three times with a huge knife and we hardly see Michael bleeding. Uh, he doesn't even try to stop much blood loss minus his fingers being blown off and um, yeah, you can see in Sandra in her husband's bathroom, he's, you know, bandaging it up to stop the bleeding, I guess, but... No, not not for the stab wounds, not for the gunshot wounds. Doesn't bandage those up. It's kind of weird, isn't it? 
No, he just continues walking down the stairs after Allison stabs him three times, and uh, he tries to kill Allison, you know? Which leads to the mob fight, you know, after Karen saves her daughter. Anyway, I know a lot of you don't want Michael to be supernatural or believe he's just a man with no abilities, but there's a lot of significant evidence to support that Michael is not just a man. He is supernatural in my eyes, and I want to end this video again by saying, as Karen walks into the room, we're looking through her point of view, right? Michael's not visible anywhere. You don't see his head leaned up against the bed, okay? Yet, when she walks by the bed, a mysterious figure is there, and it is Michael. He's leaned up against the bed. You have to look closely. Again, Karen would have seen Michael leaned up against the bed too, so I really am starting to believe Michael teleported up to the room and he killed Karen. Like and subscribe if you're new here to the friendly faces I see in the comments and uh, the growing community here. Thank you so much for your love and support. Again, I will be watching Halloween Ends on Peacock and I'll review it with spoilers when it comes out. I hope to see you all there during my review. Um, I'm going to review Smile when I see it uh, sometime in the next week or two. I'm going to review a bunch of other movies, so keep your eyes open for those. Hit the notification bell. Um, I, kn I know some of you said you've hit the notification bell and don't get notifications, so that's probably some error on YouTube's end. Anyway, I hope to see you all uh, in the comment section for this video. Let me know what you think. Have a good day.